Hello there, friends. Welcome again to Grace Baptist Church. This is our Sunday evening service for the first Sunday of October, and that is October the 3rd. We're already in the book of, of Matthew as we started last week, and uh, if you have your Bible, I'd like you to turn there with me. Uh, we're going to be looking today at our compassionate Savior and the way he handled uh, those who tried to trick him those who tried to discourage him. How did the Lord handle these enemies that he had called the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Herodians? So we're going to be in Matthew 14 and 15 today. And I appreciate you tuning in. Such a blessing to have you with us today. And I hope you're having this day a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Had good service this morning. And now we're ready for another one tonight. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come today, ask your blessings upon us, Lord, as we study your word, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Teach us things that will help us to be more like Jesus. God, I pray the message will be a help and a strength for us all. Lord, help us to get a fresh glimpse of Calvary. Help us to look and see our Savior as he was stretched out on that cross. God, we want to serve you and we want to thank you for his sacrifice for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, as you have your Bible there, I'd like you to turn to Genesis chapter 50, verse number 20, where we ended up, and then we'll get right back to Matthew 14, 36. But we talked about this a little bit last week. Uh, we see that sometimes the mighty power of God is seen in affliction. Sometimes you go through a trial and you wonder, how could the Lord ever get any glory out of this? How can this ever be any good for me? And yet we know the Bible said in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose in Christ Jesus. But we notice the mighty power of Christ. There were sick people. There were afflicted people. All they had to do was just touch the hem of his garment and they were healed. Why? Because he was God in the flesh. That mighty power created the universe and all that is therein. And yet he loves you this evening and he has promised to be with you until the end of the world. He can save a loved one that you're concerned about. He can change a bad situation into a wonderful situation in a moment's time, just as he did with Joseph. Now think about Joseph. Here's a man that was sold into slavery by his own brothers and lied about, put in prison, and yet in one day God took him from the prison to the palace. And so we read about this, and the brothers, they were all scared that Joseph was going to kill them after Daddy passed away. But he tells us in Genesis 50, 20, But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day, to save much people alive. So God can take what somebody does to harm you and he can turn it around and bring something wonderful out of it. <laughs> it's never fun to be stabbed in the back or to be lied about or to have people oppose you. But do you know God can even use that for something good? But only God can do it. Back to Matthew 14 now, verse number 36. As you have your Bible, if you'll turn there with me, it says that they besought him that they might just touch the hem of his garment. But as many as touched, they were made perfectly whole. That tells me that God is a powerful God. If they just touch the hem of his garment, the word for touched carries the idea to attach oneself to to touch and grab. And the hem there means the fringe of the garment. In the New Testament days, it was a little piece of cloth hanging down from the edge of a mantle or a cloak. It was made of twisted wool. And it's kind of like a tassel. So if they attached themselves to the edge of Jesus' robe, supernatural power would be emitted. And... That's the type of faith we need to have when we need the Lord's help. Attach ourselves to our Savior. Trust Him to bring us through. 
and through the eyes of faith, we know that he will take care of us. He is our great high priest. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He is praying for you right now. He's praying for me. If you'll notice, those that touched the hem of the garment, they were made perfectly whole. That means they were cured. They were rescued from all danger and all disease. And those that didn't touch the hem of his garment did not get any benefit from it because of a lack of faith. And he will answer your request. Whatever your request is, you go to the Lord. Let God take care of it. There's a missing place in the life of every person until they come to the Lord. And then he fills that void in our hearts. And that's what we're talking about here. Complete trust in the Lord. But then notice they didn't like this too much. The Pharisees and the scribes, it says here the confrontation of Jesus is starting out here in chapter 14. Notice with me, if you will, when we get down to verse number 15. Then came to Jesus the scribes and the Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition? I think it's right. Let's just end there. 